filter in your mind already. and like yeah and so um and also like another one is like hatred for a brother that's just like in your mind yep. you've already committed Dude, murder you have everything on here that is true yeah and uh, saves all who, who love him yeah yeah and but the the wicked will be turned into hell like it says it in psalm 917 exactly yeah and the and that's why i all that you know what i'm saying here because when he when he comes calling it's not like everybody is glamorizing and said there'll be a big book with saint peter there's no book he's going to say hey you're going to eat at my father's table tonight or really why didn't you when i was there why didn't you call on to me i was right there all the time yeah Amen. yeah and, and so, so we're here we're here to uh, I acknowledge you invite you to break bread with us agree with you and here yeah yeah can we do anything else for you right now well uh well here's well well, I came here with a plea of what a call to action okay. uh, for Christ. It was uh, and you got two yeah, that came out and yeah. said we uh, agree with you. Uh, you don't yeah. get that that often, well, do you? you well, get a, get well, a... yeah, yeah. So yeah, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of uh, mixed reactions. Mixed reactions because uh, according to like, I mean like like earlier today, I was outside of a gathering where like a a woman actually like reasoned with me, trying to tell me that it was a woman's choice to murder a baby. And I thought oh, that's not okay. That's not okay because that's leaven. A little leaven leavens the whole lump, and uh, we we need we need to get our light our light back. Be the the salt of the earth. Like salt salt is a preservative. It gives something flavor. Like Jesus gave that symbolism mm -hmm. as what well. we're supposed to be in this evil world. And and like like I, I look at some of the things that that like that like professing believers make make time for, and like uh, like concerts for example concerts right yeah. so like like lots of lots of christians go to these concerts right. and it's and it's uh well, well it's it, it's entertainment it's en it's entertainment and and i and you know i i truly believe we'll we'll give an account for how we've misused our time and i and i will as well and that's uh, something that we should be trying to to correct in light of what christ calls us to do calls us to do, to preach the gospel to rescue those who've been taken away to the slaughter, and uh, to, like to hold them back and like uh, and visit orphans and widows in their time of affliction, as James one twenty seven says. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, yep. and uh, yep. and, yeah. uh, and and seriously, um, I mean the, 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 the time is coming when we'll. Exactly. I mean, like he I'm. He said it really quickly up in the beginning part of the book. He says, "Put down your nets, and I'll make you fishers of men." Yeah, and we yeah. see you. You put down the peer pressure, and you picked up a banner and said, "This is where we gotta be." You, yeah. you followed him, Amen. and we applaud you. That's why we came down here. Once you have something to eat with us, yep, I applaud. Yeah. There's nothing on this that that says you're doing something wrong, and that we're not saying that. We wanted to invite you. We wanted to say we're on the same page. Join us for break to eat something. All right. Okay. 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 Perhaps. Come on. Okay. Okay. All right. Can I keep this? Yes. Or is this yes. your only copy? All right, no, you can have that. Thank you. Um, now, um, we're going to have a, a service upstairs. I invite you. I hope you don't feel that we were trying to persuade you to change your mind, but we're here to invite you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, I, my, my, my prayer is that Christians don't act as if, like, everything is, everything is perfectly fine with the world, and therefore not, not we can just... Here. We I like it. And every single day with knowing because that it happens to us, especially around Christmas and at our Easter. Some people only show up. We call them Christers sometimes because they only show up to church when it's Christmas or Easter. And that's sad. They don't live the word. You know? Well, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, like they're, I mean, well, kind of just people who uh, show up for a few select religious gatherings. There you go. Okay. When it's and convenient for them. When it's when it's convenient for Not them. Not when they wake up late and say, "Oh, I've really yeah. had a rough night. I don't want to go to church today." No. Yeah. Go. Um, you go. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and uh, like, like, and and Jesus, uh, the Bible warns us to be a friend of the world. Yeah. Like, uh, like, like, we don't want to, we don't want, we don't want to fall into the trap of, of uh, like, apart from apart from being uh, being. Uh, our time being owned by someone else, aka like working a job, right. we shouldn't be uh, like a, a good buddies with like an atheist or 
or an, or an unbeliever. We should right. be like whenever we're around that person, they should sense the light of Christ around you and be like, be like, man, I, I, I don't really, I don't really like uh, hanging out with that person because like I, I mean, they, they flee from the light. They flee from the light of Christ, and that's the type of feeling they should feel around you. We live our and lives I, I, living by example, and people will say, "Well, look at them." They're the Christians. They're living, right? They're giving. They're always offering. They're always putting a hand forward. They're always trying to help people. They're human. They're going to be tempted and they're going to maybe do some stupid stuff, but oh, they're yeah. always helping and they're always at church and they're always doing something. They put themselves last. Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. Okay? So when I heard there was somebody out here, I said, I want to go say hello. Yeah. Because he yeah. doesn't know or she doesn't know. I don't even know who was out here. Yeah. That they're not alone. We're in the same thing. Our motto is helping people find their way back to God because I know they got distracted they yeah got distracted yeah needlessly. yeah because like there's a there's a there's a real there's a real devil out there trying to deceive that's us true. and that's, that's why Ephesians 6 tells us to put upon the whole armor of God and put on the breastplate of righteousness and, the, and why the, is the there shoe, nothing in the back the sword of the spirit um, because he's got your back right yeah yeah there's yeah nothing is ever mentioned about the back uh, right, right, right. Yeah, the, that's the, what I tell my the, boys. My boys are never the head and the up. sword. And they're like, they, they want to go out with the teenage stuff. The boys want to go do this. I'm like, okay, that's not what God told us to. You know? And they they go out and they come right back in and say, you know what, Dad, you were right. So we're, yeah. we're, we're on the same page. Okay. Listen, I got to go inside. Okay. I do invite you. I uh, What, the, what is your sign yeah. say? It says, uh, how can the right to murder another human being be yeah, a human right? Yeah. And I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, well, I don't know what I can do. I got, we have a service we're about to start. We believe in what you're talking about. Okay. Okay. You're not yeah, going to convince us anything different. You're yeah. Not, um, you're not going to convince us. I just uh, want people to act as if there are actually uh, mass murder events taking place in this, in this community and uh, like, uh, taking action against it. Because like I, I know a, like brother Matt, uh, he re, he lives here. He would report that outside Access Healthcare, Access Health Center in Downers Grove, that we, they're we are like, very familiar yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah. And as a matter of fact, here's the thing: we're on the same page. We're on the same page. And I came down here for two reasons: to shake your hand, to let you know you have a brother of Christ here, truly, and also to make sure that nobody bothered you, because I'm a cop. If they're gonna call a cop, I'm here. Okay. All right. Okay. So yeah, I got. The music's starting. I gotta go ahead. I'm in charge yeah. of the candles. They're doing the, oh, the, the, the holy the candles. night. You know, they're all gonna hold a candle and they're all gonna sing a holy night for the Christmas Eve service. Yeah. You wanna join um, us? Can we put this inside yeah, or you yeah. leave it here? Put your flag down. Come and join us for a cup of coffee. Um. Yeah. 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 Perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah, I'll. I'll think about it. Okay. Um. Um. I don't know. Uh, perhaps. Would you like one of those too? Sure. Yeah. 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 Sure. So. I'll take um, it. I do know that I, he loves me. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's good. Um, okay. Worship right, in spirit and in Minnesota? truth. Yeah. You guys yeah. have an awesome, awesome yeah. culture there. And I really revere that. A good friend of mine is from there. His name is Doug Wright. Yeah. But they're yeah. from the Duluth. Yeah. I don't know where uh, Duluth is at. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a, it's a northeast, northeast Minnesota. Okay. Yeah, I'm he says from the, kids the, the over southern there part of Minnesota. better than they, they start crawling. I'm like, really? Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. From, and from my experience of evangelizing in Minnesota, they're all... all a lot of lost people there, and there are a lot of a lot of empty places where where the fields are white with harvest, uh, and and there there aren't too many there aren't too many uh, people who call themselves Christians like taking up the work of because they're scared, evangelizing because they're scared and they don't get it. They want to show up on the convenient holidays, like you said, and they don't want yeah. to stand up, stand up for what really is right. Right. Yeah, and I know if I wasted my life on vanity and things that didn't matter, then uh, then then Christ will repay me according to my works when I die and meet Him. But remember on that, that one story in the Bible when this one guy told him, "Hey, Jesus, I want to follow you." He goes, "Okay, fine. Get rid of all your stuff. Donate your stuff and follow me." And the guy says, "Well, uh, well, that was the young rich it? ruler." Yeah, remember that? Well, he goes, well, "All of it?" He's like, "Yeah." He goes, "I don't know." Well, he so he he walked away he, sorrowful. Yeah, because he had many things. Yeah. And uh, he didn't want to. He didn't want to give up his life of luxury and his life of riches. Do you and, see me as a rich man? <laughs> no. Well, 
Well, uh, well, well, here in America, I mean, I think that, that that's definitely a relative term. Um, if, if we're if we're living here in America, chances are we're, we're pretty rich. We're, we have the Lord has given us much, and People, it says until they go on a on a mission trip to like Haiti or somewhere else, do they realize how rich they are here? Until they go and serve somebody that really praises a glass of water being something really good that we take for granted sometimes, do they until that point happens, do they realize how rich they are here? Okay. Yeah, I really gotta go. Absolutely. Jeff, I wish you lots of success. Merry Christmas, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Give me a hug. Uh, yeah, Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. And so I gotta go inside. Um, yeah, Please, consider join us for something to eat. Okay. Yeah. You, gonna, you, yeah. you got some place to go for Christmas dinner? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You yeah, do? yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, I do. Okay. I was. Uh, um, I already yeah. got two of your things. You know, I can, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll leave you with this. What, what was it again? Name. Name? I'm Carlos. Hey, Carlos. Okay, Carlos. Uh, uh, consider, consider the need to, to reach this uh, area of Chicago. Like last night, I remember I, I tried going outside the Blackhawks game in Chicago with uh -huh. a friend. And on Madison? It, yeah, yeah, yeah at, at the United Center uh -huh. in, in, in downtown Chicago. And, and like it, the, the, there's, the, there, there are so many places that we could go to, mm -hmm. to reach the lost people for the, the glory of God and, 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 like, and to get off the sidelines. Because yeah, like right here in in Chicago, like Naperville, Downers Grove, the sub the Chicago, the the fields are white with harvest, and God is commanding Christians to go. This church that to we go. have here, this church community Christian church that we're meeting upstairs, we have ten locations, and we're all doing the yeah. same thing tonight. We're yeah. all having services. We're all inviting anybody who can make it, and we're all trying to tell people we're going to help you find your way back to God. Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, let me bring this up. Let me, let me go upstairs. I invite you to come upstairs, please. My wife's going to be doing uh, some type of a sermon, so I don't want to miss that. Okay. All right? But I, Carlos, I would, I would challenge you. I pray that those who claim Christ would take the gospel of Christ outside serious. the four walls of the church. And, exactly. And to go, go like out into the world to reach lost people. That's I mean, what you got to do. That's not, what he says. Go out, go out and make fishers of men. Right. You know what I'm saying? And if we earnestly consider those commands, we would make time to do that. Remember, we make time for these concerts and, and entertainment events. All my boys went to a private Christian college, and that's what yeah. they're all doing. They're all doing missionary work right now. Yeah, okay. okay. All right, my friend. I, I hope Jesus go. is at the forefront. Oh, of course. Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah. We're not, it's non-negotiable. It's yeah. non-negotiable. Yeah. You go to school, You do. He's gave, he gave you the gift to learn, and you go out and pass out the word. It's non-negotiable. They could be engineers. Yeah. yeah they yeah. could be pro athletes. But yeah. It's non negotiable. I'm sorry, yeah. but that's how yeah. passionate we are. Yeah, yeah, amen. I, I, I pray your faith is genuine, Carlos, it and is, that, uh, that you're it bringing is. the gospel of Jesus Christ into conflict with the evils of our age. You're not alone. Because okay. Jesus, Jesus is our ultimate leader. He's the one who sends me out here. That's it, baby. And, I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. And, uh, you're not um, alone. Do you hear me? You are not. Yeah. That's my friend Ken and I came out to tell you, you are not alone. We're not asking you to leave, we're asking you to come inside and join us. Okay. Not many people have done that. Okay, I appreciate the invitation, Carlos. Okay, no problem, yeah. friend. Praise the All Lord. Right. Praise the Lord, How great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God. You're the